Now, if you decide to build some Adirondack chairs, and I hope you do because these are really great and we use ours just about every night, you may want a side table to go along with it. Now, you could build a square side table and that would look just fine, but I knew that I wanted our chairs to be slightly facing each other because I didn't want to have to strain my neck to have a conversation with my wife. So I decided that I was going to build the table to better complement that configuration. The first thing I did was cut all the pieces to length on the miter saw. I just made sure to set up stop blocks if I needed more than one piece to be at exactly the same length. After I was done on the miter saw, I moved over to the table saw and ripped the tabletop slats. These are just 1x4s ripped in half. When I cut these to length on the miter saw, I wasn't worried about what length each slat needed to be. I just cut each board to the length of the longest slat. Once I have that done, I'll line them up and mark 3 inches in on each side. Then connect the dots. That angle, in case you're wondering, came out to roughly 10 degrees. So I'll adjust my table saw miter gauge to match and cut one side of each slat. Then I'll readjust my gauge to 10 degrees the opposite way and cut the angle on the other side of the slat. Take the slats to the router and round over the edges. Because the chairs have tapered cuts in the legs, I thought it'd be a good idea to have the side table follow suit. After I tapered the legs, it was time to head over to the router and round over the edges. However, I didn't want to round over the part that was going to butt up against the side apron. So I made a mark where I wanted to start or stop the round over. I started assembly with the two side frames. Remember when I cut the back slats for the chairs? I cut one of them out of a single 1x4 which left me with this off cut piece that you see here. One thing that I'm not showing because I didn't record it for some reason is I cut a matching 10 degree angle on the ends of the front and back apron. Pre-drill from what will be the inside of the table. Flip the side frames over, countersink from the outside. Then I'll assemble the base upside down. To attach the top slats, I matched the two side overhangs and set the front overhang at an eighth of an inch. Set one screw, make sure nothing moved on me, set the second screw. I dug around the miscellaneous bin for something to use as spacers and then attached the rest of the slats.
And there you have it, an Adirondack style side table that's easy to build and looks the part. If you'd like more information about this or other DIY projects, you can visit me at simplyeasydiy.com. Look me up on Facebook and Pinterest. Until then.